So fishing is your sport, but you're a little unsure about how to approach sunglasses that are ideal for your type of fishing. Well, stick around. I have some advice for you. Hello and welcome on My Glass, Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about what to look for in an ideal pair of fishing sunglasses. It can be a little overwhelming. There are so many options out there, so many different types of lenses to get, so many different frames. How do you know what to look for? I have some guidance. It's not gonna to be totally exhaustive, but it definitely should get you off on the right foot. And uh, what I'm gonna talk about specifically is you wanna look for something that has good coverage, of course, to block sunlight and to give you a full range of view. You want something that's polarized, of course. Everybody knows that. Polarized is super important. You don't want any glare to have to fight through when you're looking for fish. Frame and lens features, I will cover the best lens for your type of fishing and also prescription. Do not forget we do prescription. Pretty much everything that I'll be talking about today is available in prescription. And if you have any questions, our opticians would love to help you. If you are ready to order at the end of this, don't forget about old Sport RX and definitely don't forget about our See Better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that doesn't work for you or just that you don't like. You have as long as 45 days with them, even if you get them in prescription and we take care of you no matter what that means in our end. And again, like I mentioned, our opticians would love to help you and they'll help you get it right the first time. All right, let's get into this. So first, when it comes to frames, you wanna obviously get something that's lightweight and durable. When it comes to lightweight, I think the best thing that you can say about any eyewear is that you can put them on and you can forget about them. If you have to mess with them, if you have to fuss with them, if they're heavy, if they're giving you a headache, it's something that is distracting you from your passion. And so trying to avoid that is a really good idea. When it comes to frame materials that are durable and lightweight, I really like O Matter. That's something that comes out of Oakley. That's a proprietary frame material from them. TR90 nylon is very good in terms of lightweight and durable because you want it to be durable as well. You are out in pretty harsh conditions, sea salty air usually. You need something that's gonna stand up to against even more rigorous wear and tear. TR90 nylon's a great one. Also Grillamid, Maui Jim likes Grillamid a lot. Very, very durable. Really any nylon is a good idea. It's gonna be able to stand up against corrosion and other issues of frame materials that they break down against. Do you get a high base curve, something that is wrapped like an eight base sunglass is a really good idea because not only is it gonna give you full range of protection, but it's gonna give you full unobstructed views even in the peripheral, protecting you against those harsh elements and the sun. I don't recommend getting a metal or acetate frames. Metal frames can corrode, especially in that really highly sea salty air and the sun will break down those acetate frames and wear them down really quickly. When it comes to lens technology, like I mentioned, of course you wanna get polarized lenses. If you are unfamiliar with what polarized lenses do, we've done a lot of videos on that. I don't wanna to get too into the weeds here about it, but you're gonna cut through the glare. It's really, really important when you're on the water to cut through that glare. It would be a good idea to get contrast enhancing lenses. I'll get a little bit more into the actual lens features in a moment, but I like contrast enhancement. I think that glass is a really good lens material option if it's available. It's a tough thing to get, especially in prescription. But if you can find a glass lens, it is going to, well, it is heavy, keep that in mind, but it's gonna be the most scratch resistant and the most resistant to the elements. Also, clarity wise, it's fantastic. I think a mirror lens is a really good idea as well, a mirror coating rather, because that's gonna to help to protect your eyes the most from bright light conditions. It helps to reflect more light back and that means less light's making it through the lens and into your eyes. So it definitely helps to minimize light transmission. It also helps with something that I call ambient glare. That's light coming in from harsher angles. It's gonna be reflected back more readily and that tends to be less usable light anyway. So I like mirror coatings for sure. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about fishing sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and knowledgeable Sporter X opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more fishing frame reviews, unboxings, prescription fishing content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. 
Now, when we're talking about lens features or lens colors specific for your type of environment or type of fishing, you have, of course, offshore or you have inshore fishing. So when you're talking offshore, you're on the boat. Sometimes you might have a canopy that you can be under or an umbrella, but a lot of times people are just out in direct sunlight. And so you want something that is as dark as possible and with uh, anything really that is, I'd say, deeper than 30 meters is going to be considered offshore and why you would need the lens color that I recommend in just a moment. When it comes to inshore, you know what I'm talking about, lake, fly fishing, flats fishing, stream fishing, whatever. Uh, and that's gonna be really anything that's less than 30 meters deep. I think that there are some really good lens options to keep in mind for that type of fishing. For offshore, usually it's a great tint and a good mirror coating. The most popular you're gonna find would be from someone like Costa with their blue mirror lens. And that is a gray tint with a blue mirror on the front. Gray is gonna be the densest tint. It's gonna absorb the most light transmission. So therefore giving you the darkest lens possible and the best protection against really, really bright sun. For inshore fishing, rose, copper, copper, bronze, brown, something like that with a mirror coating, I think is a really good idea. The reason for that is because because you are going to get more contrast. It's also gonna help a little better with more variable light. What's interesting about a contrast enhancing lens is that it will allow you to see better even in lower light conditions, even if it's blocking the same amount of light transmission as say a gray, because I pointed to this, that's not gray because it helps to make colors look more vivid. It makes it seem like you're getting more light to your eyes, but you're actually protecting your eyes against really bright light, but also boosting that color contrast. The other reason that it's a good idea is because it makes it easier to spot and track the fish in the water. When you are doing inshore fishing, shallower water fishing, spotting the fish is a big deal, and it's gonna make it a lot easier to track the fish because the colors are heightened, the differences between the fish and anything surrounding the fish. I love contrast enhancing lenses, if you can't tell. So now a little bit less common of a request, but definitely still something out there are low light lenses. And those can be a little tougher to find because you still want it to be fully polarized, but you want it to let a lot more light through. And so those aren't very common lenses. There are a few specialty lenses out there though. And so what I would recommend you check out if that is something that you're interested in. And I think that probably the person I'm talking to is a fly fisherman who is usually in under tree cover. And it's just not as bright as being in full sun. Something like the Costa Sunrise Silver Mirror right here, really bright lens, has a VLT of about 30%. Really, really great lens. Maui Jim has their HT lens, which is amazing. That stands for high transmission. It lets more light through. They're a little tougher to get a, a solid number, fixed number VLT, just because of all of their different lens materials, all of their different coating approaches. If you think of mirror coating, they have a bi-gradient, they have a gradient. Depends on where you're shining the light through to tell you how much light's going through. So what they say is a category two. So it lets way more light through than your typical pair of sunglasses is really, really saw the lens out of Maui Jim. And Kanan has probably the widest selection in lower light lens options. They have the lightest lens option that I'm available, uh, that I'm aware of that is available in polarized, which is their C50 lens. That is a copper base, but it allows 50% of light through, which is crazy. They also have some more mid range, still lets a fair amount of light through like their copper 28, their yellow 35, and uh, that means 28% and 35% VLT respectively. Really cool lenses out of Canon. So if you're looking for that specialty low light lens, check all of those guys out. So that wraps it up for what you need to know about buying fishing sunglasses. Now you can order with more confidence. I really hope that I shed some light on some tips that you weren't aware of. Perhaps you have a little better idea as to what to look for, or maybe you are ready to order. If any of these styles are interesting, stay tuned for a, a shop now button that will pop up. So it'll take you directly to these guys here. If you are ready to order, don't forget about that Sea Better Guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And a peace of mind is your thing, our opticians. I always talk about them, I bring them up so often because I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we have 
trained, tenured, knowledgeable opticians who will help you get it right the first time. So please reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out a lot. You can find relevant videos over here. And if you're liking these styles, you can click this button right here to take you directly to it. Also, I think you should check us out on our social media outlets. I think you'd like that stuff. That's why I recommend it. Otherwise, I totally wouldn't recommend it. I think you should check it out.